Hey guys, Apav here. Welcome to Pokemon. Oh, I gotta select the language. I've never played this Pokemon game. I believe it's pronounced Arceus. I could be wrong. Um, but it's one that I've wanted to play for a very long time. I think I got around Christmas, but I've just never got around to recording this video. And I really want to record this video because, uh, Pokemon game that came out before this I recorded an APAP tries for, so I'm like, why not do this one? Um, this really seems up my alley with the type of gameplay that it's it's going for, so I guess now it's time to get into it. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Alrighty then, we're going, <laughs> zooming out a bit from just Pokemon. It is well that thou art here. Oh, I see. You speak in King James English. I am that which humans call Arceus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right now. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Oh, Professor Oak is God. I see. Um, why do the... Well, they all kind of have really far apart eyes. I really hope I'm just picking gender and skin tone and I'll be able to adjust the hair. What is thy name? Thy name is Apav, conqueror of the Pokemons. All right, well, I guess let's just pray that uh, they give me some more customization later. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. What? What's the adjective they use? The Magical world of Pokemon? What? It, man, I can't remember. A world inhabited by wonder, one, wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Or Pokemon, depending on who you ask. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh, that's an interesting uh, path to enlightenment. Oh, nope, I guess we're just stuck playing as this kid. Wow. Oh, yes, I must be born with a smart device in hand. No, not my iPhone. How will I ever play Fortnite in Minecraft now? Oh, don't worry, there's a godlike Pokemon. And what? My screen went black, did yours? I think I recognize that Pokemon, but I don't remember their name. Or it's a new Pokemon that just I've seen in trailers or something. I've been rewatching season one of Pokemon. Sorry, I'm probably distracting from this um, mystical animation. But um, I've been watching season one of Pokemon on my PSP, of all things. And um, it's definitely a throwback. It feels um, a lot different than the last few seasons of Pokemon. Wake up! Oh, uh, do wake up, won't you? The Pokemon are talking to me? Are you alive, my boy? Oh, there's a man behind them. Um, nice helmet. <laughs> oh, wow, it's like Legend of Zelda Pokemon Edition. I haven't really seen much gameplay of this, so it's intriguing seeing this, like, open world. Most of my experience with Pokemon was, um, is it Sword and Shield that came out before this? Um, and Leaf Green, so kind of all over the place. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. Yeah, I believe that would make sense. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Um, who are you? Who am I? Why am I so derpy looking? <laughs> Who are you, as that seems more relevant? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Yes, I do understand. Come now, who in the world does that? Um, boys. We, we like to hijack planes and jump out of them. Everyone knows that. I must say, your clothing is unusual. I don't know what you mean. My mom bought this shirt. Oh, frowny face. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Luckily, I have several pickles. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't know... Wait, yes, I I just... I can't sleep. 
I can't speak. I am alone. Help me. I am a child. Well, you're not just gonna leave me here, right? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. <laughs> Foom. <laughs> Plish Plash. I see. So are these the starter Pokemon? Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Um, of course I do. But you may just call me the boy that fell from the sky. My name is, um, L Laventon? Laventon? Going with Laventon. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of... Understanding? <laughs> My inner southern came out there. Yes, uh, Pokemon... Oh. They sure are special. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? Uh, this happened in the last video where I read so much that I just got tired before the game started. All right, I am a child. The graphics are PS2-esque. Um, I can duck. I can... That's all I can do? Okay. The analog stick is not inverted, which is confusing me in my... 2000s brain when everything was inverted on ps2 <laughs> all right well uh looks like i'm just gotta go this way uh dash oh so it's it's sprint like in call of duty what is this oh, my smartphone it's probably not called that but i just <laughs> it's such a like gen alpha thing <laughs> for the the pokedex to just be a smart device you found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel strange power emanating from it. Egad, a message I bestow upon thee, this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. Something feels so off about that. Like it feels so uh, open. Alas, yes, another miss. You lost three Pokemon? Fifty? That's quite a few. Is it going to be extremely difficult? <laughs> Pokeballs are a recent invention. Hmm, so is this like a prequel? <laughs> Alright, send the ten-year-old boy to do your stuff. I get it. Okay, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Yes, hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. Yes. Yes. I don't know how I feel about playing as this character. Just something seems off about them. <laughs> I really hope there'll be more customization later. <laughs> Are they going to run away? I feel like because this is a tutorial, I can just walk up to them. All right. So do I want to like not be spotted? Is that the key? Or have I already been spotted? I'm a bit confused why they are always looking at me. Stop looking at me. I guess you already know I'm here. Well, I'm just gonna shoot you then. Awesome. Well, that was easy. Wonderful, you got a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon. I don't have the knack for reading though, sorry. Sup, oh, you're coming right up to me. All right, here you go. Hello, uh, Plish Plash friend. Oh no. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid that can happen. I am so distraught. Pokeballs are, one, are hardly 100% foolproof. But don't worry, just keep throwing them. And it'll eventually get tired. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. Um, that seems a little off it's me the bringer of future technology i am the chosen one yes the pokedex what is this game's version of the pokedex well so far the plot is a little meh i'm expecting something else to happen because like the drive of like you know just just catch all the pokemon is a little little boring like, there's not much, uh, 
interest than just a weird man told me to throw balls at animals. <laughs> Thank you for your tireless work at keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. All right, so we, we made it to the village, and it really does look like we went to the past, but they still have um, brick and water wheels and tile shingles and steam power, I guess. <laughs> this way, if you please. Ju Jubilife Village. Oh, I will never know. Everyone thinks I look weird because I'm wearing sandals. Everyone's talking. I'm not very interested in what they have to say. It's all like, who is that child? Bother Nation. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Yes, leave the child at the bar. Can I talk to people? I can. Well, at least the towns are uh, more lively than the big field we started the game off on. I wonder, like, how open world this game is. Like, is it just routes, like, in, um... The original Pokemon games, or like, will I be able to traverse any mountain that I see? You don't seem to like how I'm dressed. I look suspicious. Oh my gosh. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, that's the name of the restaurant. And I guess there's different teams. And I take it you're gonna help me get inside. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. Well, that's good that you were able to make it to bed, but the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Oh, he appears. Apav here has agreed to help us with the Pokedex. Oh, is she going to be my rival? Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain... Uh... C Cel Celine's permission? I'll allow it. Says Celine, who looks like she is perpetually grumpy, if it is a she, and I'm pronouncing the name correct. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy Team's survey corps. You may call me Celine if that is my name. For all I know, it could be like, killing. <laughs> Professor Laventon has told me... That, oh my gosh, there's so much reading. This happened the first time I played Pokemon for YouTube. How have I let this happen ag again? I'm 15? I look nine, quite old enough to work for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wander wanders in among us. Okay, I caught three Pokemon in like ten seconds. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Okay, I need food. Yes, more text. Aloof as always. Oh my gosh, these sound effects. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three. I, I take it it's good. Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift? Well, it turns out it's a space-time rift, and this person fell out of it because they're from a different point in time. You can't be serious. I am totally serious. You can tell by my hat how serious I am. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sort of wondrous things they can do. That's where Apav will come in. I'm going to chuck this ten-year-old into every dangerous situation I can, and based on what happens to him, I will know how the Pokemon react to human activity. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. Yeah. Can when am I gonna get a chance to do that again? <laughs> Alright, now that it's nighttime, we're either going to have a whole caught scene about sleeping, or I'm going to go hunt Pokemon in the night. We are sleeping. That's 
just so random. It's like, if you fail, we'll kill you. Because how dare you be ten and in the wild? Will my friend, um, help me out? <laughs> now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe, except for the person she's threatening to kick out of the village. Yes, good night. Good night. The night is good. I guess that's the, the rift back home, or wherever I came from. I don't know how I got here from there, though. You'd think I would have just fall, fallen into that volcano-looking thing. I wonder if I'll get to decorate this room later. Investigate the bowl. Investigate the dresser. Investigate this thing. Is this a sushi roll? I, I guess it's just notes? Well, that's a pretty moon. Oh, this is... This is gonna be a major cutscene. All the Pokemon are are in shock. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was gonna destroy the tree. The next day, as I would assume. Apev, are you up? Quite some lightning last night. I guess we all heard it. Do I need to put my shoes on? Where'd I leave my shoes? Oh, they automatically come on as I enter the dirt. So I'm gonna have storage and a clothing section, which means I guess there'll be customization later. What lovely weather we've got. It only took a thunderstorm. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. So what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> Apav is here. Here is Apav. You may enter. We may talk about the thing that we talked about pre previously. You are to do trials. Catch three Pokemon. Catching three Pokemon? Well, I did it yesterday. I'll just do it again. Here, have a satchel. That's a kind of cool satchel, I suppose. Oh, well, I mean, it, it would be cool if my the rest of my outfit matched it. And now there's a quest on top of my quest. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Yeah, there's so jolly. So, is something the matter? In order to complete your Pokedox and well simply survive in an unforgiving land, Apav absolutely must pass this trial. And as professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. These Pokemon that you have already captured, as I would have guessed. Foom and whatnot. Go on, Apav, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. I already did earlier. As you can tell, I always just choose the fire type. Um, but maybe I'll play this again sometime and uh, n not pick the fire type. But... Um, Obviously, I'm going to choose the fire type. <laughs> Huzzah! I have a Pokemon Anteater that's on fire. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back into its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. I like the old-fashioned style of these Pokeballs. You obtained 20 Pokeballs. Do I, do I still have, like, the 45 that I had from earlier? I think when this game came out, there was some complaints about, um how child focused it was and like i get it like it's a game meant for children it should it shouldn't be extremely difficult even though like the the first few pokemon games were were much more difficult my take on it is that the i don't know there could be more things happening in between the dialogue at the beginning here i know probably once you get through this there's probably going to be very few um interactions in between action but these like hour-long openings to pokemon games can be a bit exhausting especially since they're not voice acted so this person also thinks i am dressed weird although i think they're dressed kind of weird he's challenging me to a battle so you're gonna be my um rival in this game i don't need a tutorial i know how pokemon works unless I forget, does the combat in this Pokemon game work differently? I feel like it works similarly. <laughs> Togepi! <laughs> oh, Cyndaquil. I think I'm gonna wreck Togepi. <laughs> Togepi. Battle! Oh, this is cool. 
Oh, frick, is it real time? I don't know. Alright. We're just gonna tackle each other until someone wins, I think. I like this feeling of battle. It makes you feel like you're really in the battle because it doesn't, like, teleport you to a whole nether arena. I'm definitely gonna need some, some healing after this. Battle decided. I win. Level up. It even has, like, the old level up jingle. Just a bit updated. It's all good fun to have your Pokemon do bow, don't you think? Yes, it was... I got to do something. But so pew pew. So pew pew here have their own Pokemon. Yes, so we should work on catching Pokemon so people will figure out how to catch Pokemon so then we can fight them. Awesome. Now are you going to tell me how to heal my Pokemon? <laughs> now to the Obsidian Field Lands. But is there a Poke Center? I need to heal my Pokemon. Oh, my Pokemon is full health again. I guess because I leveled up maybe? Ah, I see. There's like different regions. Oh, it's a little camp. Cool. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Not too familiar with those, but I'm sure I'll find them. Oh, Professor, you're back. Are you going to talk to me for a while? Freedom! I don't care. I'm running away. Oh. Dang it, where are you going? I was trying to forge my own path. Oh my gosh, it's a field. Whoa. It is pretty pretty. Obsidian fields. Oh. A beaver. A beedoof. <laughs> pretty sure those were around when I watched Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I don't need to talk to you <laughs> between every interaction. All right. Are you gonna chill out? Yes. Well, that was easy. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find the next Pokemon. And off she runs. It takes you guys all day to catch one Pokemon? It's so simple. Where are you going? I'm investigating leaves. Leave me alone. A Starly. That's a, a cute burb. Hide in the grass. I didn't even read or really pay attention to any of that. I assume just by what I'm seeing that I need to hide in the grass. Which is like the opposite of what you normally do in Pokemon. And then that somehow will increase my odds or prevent the bird from flying away. It did. Wow, you did it. Thank you. These sound effects sound so familiar to, like, the Zelda games. I wonder if, like, Nintendo kind of borrows each other's uh, sound effects. That's Shinx. Oh my gosh. How terrifying. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irritated, or rate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catch aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Alright, um, what would be... Oh gosh, it's coming for me. Hang on, I'm figuring things out. Should I hit it with the... <laughs> ah! Yes, okay. Oh, oh, I can even run around while this is happening. That's impressive. I love it. Uh, roll out. Shinx is looking around. Well, roll out again. Gonna make sure that this freaking ball works. I, I feel kind of bad. It, it didn't put up much of a fight. Uh, Pokeball. Use. Yeet. This has got to work. It, it's so weak. It's a steam power Pokeball. That's it. You caught a, a thing. Cool. Wow, you did it. And without a hint of fear. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. I am. I'm the chosen one. This is wonderful. 
I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. I wasn't ready to actually head back, but I guess I don't have that choice. <laughs> oh ho, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. A commemorative photograph. Wow. I don't feel like we're in the time period for photographs, but, um, that was cool. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Oh, so instead of keeping them in a computer, they can, like, chill out in the village. What happens if I just, like, yeet out my Pokemon at any moment? Sup? Hello there. How do I recall? Um, do I have to waste a Pokeball to recall, or do you just follow me? You're not following me. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I assume you'll come with me. It seems we won't have to leave you to die, after all. Wow, thanks. Congratulations, you're alive. I must admit, you've impressed me. I thought I was going to have to kill you, but instead I'll just have to keep you alive. <coughs> I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. Why would you set a high hurdle when my life was on the line? This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Yay, a different outfit. You've received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. <laughs> Why is everything sandals? Get changed in your room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Oh, this is the, <laughs> this is the wrong house. I am not scared of Pokemon. I see, so there should be a lot of customization in the future. See, that already looks a million times better. But I would like, I would like a hat or like a hair style. Oh, here I can adjust eye color, even though it's referring to my eye color as contacts. But I can't adjust my hair. That's so crazy. Anyways, um, yes, I'm done. Cool. I finally fit in. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. Or that there's different sizes. I got a hat. Thank you for the hat. Now present yourself to the commander. I thought you were the commander. Ah, the guy who stands in front of his desk. I've been waiting for you, I can see. Why would you choose to stand like this? I am commando, commander of the galaxy expedition team. Original name. Hmm, so you are Apav, yes. It's an honor. Uh, mm hmm, I guess we'll go with yes, sir. That seems like what they're looking for. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him? Alright. You've got vigor, I'll give you that. <laughs> I, I was thinking we were going to fight with Pokemon, but you know. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider, who literally fell out of the blue. You've obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. That'll come in useful. I guess I need an acorn and 3,000 P. You will have to buy the necessary materials. I see, thank you. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna be stuck in a crafting tutorial next. So um, this game might have even more of an introduction than the uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I like what they're doing with it. I like being able to run around while you're doing battling. That's just, I don't know, it really puts you more into the world of Pokemon, which is why I thought uh, this game would be really fun for me to play. Obviously, it's going to take a while to get through a lot of the tutorials because this game is made for people under the age of 10. But I hope if you've never played it and you're watching this to get an idea of the game that I gave you somewhat of an idea of the game. And if you've played it before and just watching this for entertainment, I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I normally end the videos there, but I just wanted to add that 
I haven't been pumping out content lately because I had a whole bunch of PS3 and PS2 stuff ready, but I'm waiting on getting my PS3 back from a guy who does modding on eBay because I'm getting the Frankenstein mod so I can regularly play PS2 games without worrying about my PS3 overheating. That gameplay should look really good when I can finally get it up, but that was a delay. And another delay was I was going to do a video on uh, the flip video cameras. This old thing to be exact, but when I charged it up, it would not function properly. Uh, I think it got busted when I told it it was past the year 2020 because it wouldn't let me select anything beyond the year 2020. Um, I tried resetting it and still nothing seems to be working with it. So I uh, couldn't do that video, so I've been delayed for a little while, but hopefully Weekly videos will start coming out soon, and until then, I hope this video will uh, suffice. Regardless, thank you guys for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video. That's where you catch Pokemon! Yeah, I hope I can get, like, less skinny jeans and a more round backpack. That's all I wish for. <laughs> the fridge is filled with food your family likes. Opposed to food your family hates. Cool. Exit the door. Oh, that isn't the...